Well, good Monday morning. Glad to be with you, and I hope everything has been good for you over the weekend. Hope you have a good day of worship wherever you were, and uh, I hope this week is going to be a good one for you. It's amazing how fast we're moving toward Easter, and uh, today we're going to be in the Gospel of John, as we have been, looking at these wonderful words of life, and uh, I want to go back to chapter 11, where Jesus raised Lazarus from the dead. <clears throat> and if you'll remember, uh, he went to the tomb, he wept at the tomb with the other people who were in mourning, and uh, then he said, uh, take the stone away, and they rolled the stone away, and then he just uh, simply said uh, to the crowd, he said to you know Mary and Martha and others who were there, he said, I told you, if you would believe, then you will see the glory of the Lord. And he said, yeah, didn't I tell you that? And they said, well, yeah. And so he prays and he says, Father, I thank you that you hear me. You always hear me. And I thank you that uh, uh, I'm praying this because of the people who are standing here. And then he says, Lazarus, come forth. And uh, the one who had died, Lazarus, came forth, bound uh, with hand and foot with wrappings over him. And uh, then it says, uh, his face was covered with a cloth. And then Jesus said the most wonderful words. He said, unbind him and set him, let him go. Unbind him and, and loose him. Let him free. Let him be free. And I thought about that. I thought about how the Lord is always setting people free. In this case, he set Lazarus free from death and uh, brought him back to life. And, you know, later Lazarus died. But what a testimony uh, that was for Lazarus. You know, I was dead and I'm sure people ask him about that, but he said, uh, you know, the greatest thing was when I came to life and they unbound me. I, I wonder what you're bound by today. Are you bound by anything? Are you bound by fear? Are you bound by past sin? Are you bound by a current situation where you're not really following the Lord and it's binding you up and you don't have the freedom to be who you are or the freedom to live? And uh, it's amazing. When God unbounds us in Jesus Christ, he does it by what Christ has done for us. Think about the things that seem to bind you right now. And I want you to know that Jesus would say today, uh, be loosed. Get rid of those things. I died so you could be free to worship the Lord, to walk in truth, uh, to, work in, uh, to walk in confidence that everything's going to be all right. He gives us the freedom to live. This is what happens when we become Christians. So uh, the question is, are we taking advantage of that? Have you been loosed from past sins and memories? Have you been loosed from a, a current sin or addiction or something like this? Loose from your anger? Jesus Christ would say to you today, be loose from all that. I've given you the Holy Spirit and I've given you everything you need to be free from all of that. So let's live unbound lives today. Heavenly Father, we thank you that in Christ we can live in freedom. And it was for freedom, your Bible says, that we were set free. May we walk unbounded today by anything that would keep us from being who you made us to be. And it's in Christ's name we pray. Amen.